Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year. So today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite makes of 2023. I did make quite a bit, so I'm not going to do like a roundup video because we will be here for a very long time because I did make quite a bit in 2023. However, I am going to share with you my favorite patterns of 2023 and why I love them so much and the, the fabrics and the garments that I have made with them. So let's go ahead and get into today's video. And I'm going to start us off with the Vogue V1952. So that is the pattern that um, I just recently made for a wrap dress series. If you want to see the full review of that, I'll put a link in the description box below and you can watch that video in length and you can learn more about the video or the, the pattern. In fact, I will put links in the description box below to all these garments because I'm pretty sure I have pattern reviews of each one of these. And so you can go ahead and check out my reviews and learn more about the pattern, what I liked about, about the pattern, the size I chose, what I didn't like, the fabric choices, all that good stuff because I include all that into my pattern reviews. So let's go ahead and start uh, with this Vogue B1952. So that's the dress that I am wearing currently. As you can see, it's in this black gray and white foiled fabric it has uh, baked in uh, glitter or foils inside the fabric and so i really love the fabric i purchased the fabric from zalu fabrics um, as of last i think it was last month or about a month and a half ago when i made this they still had some of this in stock on their website um, but I don't know if they currently have any in stock right now, uh, but it is a lovely, lovely fabric. So the Vogue V1952 is a knit pattern. You have different uh, uh, skirt variations. You have a flared skirt or a, um, a close fitting skirt that you can make. The bodice is the same. The only difference is the skirt, whether you want an A-line skirt or you want more of a closer fit fitting type skirt. Um, I made the closer fitting skirt, so it came out really lovely. Absolutely love it. You have a collar that you could put on the neckline. That's optional. You also have this band that goes around the neckline and you can also do um, cuffs on your sleeve as well. So you have a short sleeve and you have a three quarter length sleeve. On the three quarter length sleeve, you could put a cuff at the edge of the sleeve. And I absolutely loved it. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. I think I wore it once since I've made the video. Um, I'm, I would, I've worn it once before and then once after. Uh, this is my, I think, third time wearing the dress. And so I absolutely love it. I haven't had a, enough time to actually uh, wear it uh, to give like a feedback on whether or not the fabric has hold up over time. However, I do like it. The dress is so comfortable to wear. I like the contrasting black fabric on the printed uh, cheetah print. It's just a fun, fun make. It's one of my favorite makes of um, 2023. I like the pattern. I definitely want to go back and make another variation. I had intended on making a um, red Christmas uh, version with an ITY knit that I purchased from uh, Fabric Mart Fabrics. However, I didn't get a chance to uh, get around to sewing a lot at, towards the end of the year. Uh, we just had a lot going on. And so I just have not been able to get videos out and I haven't been able to post as much. However, I do want to circle back around uh, to make this dress pattern this year, this Vogue V1952, because I absolutely loved it. Uh, yeah, I definitely recommend this pattern. One of my favorite patterns of 2023 that I was able to sew is the Simplicity S9702. Now, the fabric that I used for this was a sponsored fabric. It was a fabric sponsored by Minerva, and it was called um, Mosaic uh, Tiles or something like that. Mosaic, it, it's a mosaic fabric. If they still have some of this, I'll try to track down the link and put it in the description box below but it's a blue, purple, green. It has different variations and hues of uh, different blue and purple and green color schemes throughout the fabric. And as you can see, it looks kind of like a tile. 
Um, I love this dress. It is so fun. It is uh, loose fitting, but it doesn't feel like muumu style. Like you all know, I don't really like uh, a muumu style dress, but it is so fun. It is fun to wear. I did some alterations on the neckline. Uh, you do have an open neckline. I closed my neckline up. Again, if you want to learn more about some of the adjustments I've made, the sizes I've chose, all that stuff, make sure you watch my pattern review of that as well. I love this pattern. It's one of my favorite dress patterns that I have made of 2023. Another one of my favorite projects of 2023 was the Simplicity S9014. Now, I've made this dress pattern uh, several times before but I also made it last year. So I have multiple pattern reviews of this. So I have one that is um, in a black and yellow lemon print, printed fabric that I made, I think two or three years ago. And then last year in 2023, I made uh, this variation with this beautiful fabric. It's called um, Chrysanthemum. Uh, something I can't remember, but it is also um, a fabric that was sponsored by Minerva. And I love the fabric. I love the uh, pairing with the simplicity uh, pattern. Like those two combinations are just so, so wonderful. Love, love, love that dress as well. And it was one of my favorite dresses of 2023. I also made the Simplicity S9604. Now this is a top that I hacked and turned into a dress. This was my birthday dress. So it was one of the first dresses that I made of the year. And I made a reversible dress with that pattern. I love this dress. However, I didn't really think it through as much as I should have. So on the reversible side, so one side um, I made um, with, this beautiful, uh, soft um, chiffon type fabric that was also sponsored to me by Minerva. And that's a beautiful fabric. It was light and weight. And so I knew I wanted to make a dress with it, but since it was so light, and as you can imagine with chiffon, most chiffon fabrics are uh, kind of see-through. This one was like semi-sheer, so it wasn't completely sheer. Uh, but I also wanted to line it. I wanted to line it for several reasons. Number one, I wanted to make a dress and I knew it was semi sheer. And number two, I was making this in January. And so I knew I needed a little bit of uh, weight to it. And so I decided to use this um, satin fabric. It's like a semi um, matted uh, satin fabric that I purchased from, I purchased it off of, Amazon, but the merchant was, I don't know who the merchant was, but I purchased it off of Amazon and it's a beautiful eggplant color, uh, satin material. So gorgeous. Now my mistake with that. So I wore this dress, uh, three times this year. So the first time I wore the dress, I wore it with the satin side on the inside and the printed side on the outside. And by the end of the day, um, as you can imagine, it had stains underneath the arm area. Uh, number one, because it was a satin material. And so you can like actually see it. And number two, um, it, it just you know, sweat <laughs> when you sweat, you know, so it just didn't work out the way in which I thought in my head, I thought, oh, this is going to be amazing. But it didn't <laughs> at the end of the day, after I took the dress off and I was like, uh, now I can't, I, I was able to wash it out and it wasn't like visible after washing it out. And so I was able to wear it on that reversible side without you seeing like those armpit stains on it. Uh, however, I would not do that in the future. I, I would not <laughs> choose uh, a satin fabric for a reversible project. So just FYI, if you decide you want to make a project that is reversible, don't use satin like I did. <laughs> just don't, it, it didn't work out as well.
another one of my favorite uh, projects, the Tatum Dress by Style Arc. So this uh, was a new release when I, uh, when I sewed it, and I actually was asked to do a uh, review for this and to uh, test the pattern before they released it. And I had so much fun sewing this. It's a very detailed garment. Uh, however, it's such a gorgeous garment. It is so, so gorgeous. I love the different details um, that the pattern have in the pattern. You are working with a lot of pieces. I think it's somewhere like 19 or 20 pieces or something like that. So there are a lot of pattern pieces. It's very detailed. However, it is a beautiful garment. It's so beautiful. Um, I did not circle back around to make that pattern. Um, I'm sadly disappointed that I have it because I do like it. I want to make a denim variation uh, for that. Uh, I did love this. I love the, the fabric choice that I, I made. I loved the contrast fabric choice I made. It was a really great garment. I did not get a chance to wear it yet, however, uh, but I do like it and I loved um, the actual dress pattern itself and I do highly recommend that one. So I really did enjoy that one. I also made the sagebrush top. This is um, a top that I have made some modifications um, to the neckline, including making facings, instead of um they give you like a bias buying like a um a tie piece that you can make for your bias binding and your neckline is going to be bias bound i didn't like that and so i actually made my own facing pieces and um i also made a uh, a loop closure for the back and I put a button in the back of mine and so mine's a little bit different however the style of the top the way that it fits I was able to make uh let's see I think two or three different variations of that top and I like the red one the most absolutely love the sagebrush top and I am excited that I've been able to wear that throughout the year. So really like that top. And it was really um, a real nice project for me. Another one of my favorite patterns of 2023 that I made, I didn't get a chance to share it with you, but I'll go ahead and put a video here so you can see what one of the variations look like. So this is the Butterick B6684. So it's just a simple top. Um, I didn't do a pattern review of it yet. I'm still in the process of making um, videos and garments for my shirt dress series that I'm going to be doing here pretty soon. And so I'm just going to give you a sneak peek of one of the garments that I have made um, out of it. I made multiple garments. I made, I think, maybe four or five garments. And I'm just so excited to share with you all the different variations that I've made with this top. It is so easy to sew with. You can do um, you can do so much with this pattern. You can expand the sleeves. You can lengthen the sleeves. You can uh, do gathering on the sleeves and make a. You could do a bishop sleeve or a billowing sleeve. You could do. Uh, it's just so many different things you can do with it. You can omit the tie around the neckline and uh, make facings, and it's just. And I'm going to share with you all what I have done with this pattern. I have done so much with this pattern. Um, it's a really great basic pattern block. Um, your front and your back um, and your sleeve. Such an easy, simple, basic um, pattern block. And I loved it so much that I have created different looks with it. So the first look I'll share with you um, here what it looks like. And I made the variation with the necktie. Um, however, I expanded the sleeves and I created gathering on the sleeve because the sleeve pattern is very, very narrow. I couldn't do anything with that sleeve pattern. So I had to create my own sleeve pattern, expand the sleeve, and I put gathering on the uh, shoulder of the sleeve pattern there. Absolutely love the top. Like I said, loose fitting, um, but not too loose fitting, just a beautiful, beautiful top. In terms of like your basic uh, shirt patterns and pattern 
pattern block goes. I think this is a really great pattern and I'm excited to include it into my shirt dress series here pretty soon. You'll see um, here coming up, I'm going to share with you um, a lot of the different shirt patterns that I've been sewing and I'll be posting those here pretty soon. But those are my favorite uh, patterns that I have made in 2023. I'm excited to um, carry over into 2024 and find some new patterns that um, I love. Uh, stay tuned. I will be uh, sharing with you here pretty soon. Uh, like I said, a, a lot of the shirts that I've been working on. So let me know in the comment section below what you've been working on and if you've sewn any of these patterns that I mentioned in this video and if you did, if you had uh, success with these patterns or if you haven't, uh, just let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. I all, always enjoy hearing from you all. I can't wait to talk to you all in the next video and I hope you have all have a happy and blessed sewing week and stay creative. Bye.